All right, with Warner Brothers MGM announcing that they will be giving us the full Rocky series on 4K, am I the sucker for buying the original Knockout Collection on 4K? Let's talk about it. What is up everybody? I hope you're all having a great week. So yes, today's topic is we're gonna be talking about am I the sucker for buying the Rocky Knockout Collection when obviously there were, it was it was inevitable, inevitable that they'd release the entire collection on 4K. Well, I don't know because I got this used for like $45. So about, you know, almost, you know, a little over $10 of 4K. It comes with four 4K discs. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, this new collection is probably gonna be here in Canada, probably, you know, over $100 because the Mad Max collection, that was like 85 retail here in Canada. So, and that just comes with two more films. So that's probably gonna be pretty expensive. And for honestly, for, for Rocky Five and Rocky Six, even though they're both made on 35 millimeter, film so it should heed you know some pretty good results to the 4k format it's just like i guess but it's like i'm at this point in collecting where it's like i'm not just gonna buy it because it's brand new and for their films i'm like oh well wow. oh well rocky five and six i'm gonna get the collection again because i don't think the rocky films were available for steelbook here in canada i could be wrong I'm a little hazy on that but it's like the only way to get it would probably be that new collection and it's like i don't know i mean i like five and i like six but it's like like rocky balboa and rocky five it's just like I have them here on like, like I have, I also got the heavyweight edition. This is like a Blu-ray I got for like, Blu-ray set I got for like $7 on Black Friday. And it comes with all the films, even though this new version comes with all six films, four and the extended cut or the director's cut and five theatrical and the extended, or the director's cut. So that's what you're paying for. Plus again, you know, the, the 4K restoration for those two films. Cause these are, I believe 2K restorations of Rocky five and six. I know I've, at least for six, because when I looked at the, the film specs on IMDb, they said the inner positive or the final negative is still 2K. Usually when they will do a uh, 4K, you know, uh, reformat, it'll say on their updated thing. But yeah, but it's like, honestly, it's like, they look they look pretty good too. Like if I find myself watching those movies again, it'll be like I'll watch Rocky Foot 1, and then a couple days later, I'll feel like watching Rocky 3 or something like that. And I have the 4Ks here and they're pretty decent 4K transfers. So it's like, am I gonna rebuy them again just for those two movies? No, it's gonna be expensive. And it's like, if I really wanted to get those films, I'd probably get the steelbooks of it if I you know go to the US within the next in the, in the next month or so, right? So probably then uh, also wanna go to the uh, Criterion sale. So that'll probably happen too. But yeah, it's like, do I feel like a sucker for buying the 4K collection, the original Knockout collection? No, one, because I got it for pretty cheap, and two, it's because I'm not a big fan of Rocky V and Rocky VI, so that the fact that I have the film, because and it's not like the films I can't access, because I have the Blu-ray release that I got for really cheap too, so it's like, I have the films in my collection. If I'm gonna watch it again, it's like, um, maybe I'm like, oh, I can't check out the new 4K transfers, but it's like, is it worth that extra money? Maybe if I could rent it, maybe if, if Bay Street Video is doing a rental for them, I could probably check it out. But if not, like, like that would probably be the only thing I wouldn't buy it again, just for those films on 4K. So for me, I don't feel like the sucker because it's like, I know I'm not gonna get the most out of it. Uh, and I've, I've gotten to that, you know, age where, or, you know, cause I've been collecting for about three years now uh, for 4K. So it's like, before I was just buying everything, but now it's like uh, I'm running out of space. Uh, it's getting a little hectic. And so I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, I'll buy things that I want, but like, it's not just like, I'm not gonna just blind buy that much stuff unless I look into a film. If, if it, the word of mouth, like the only blind buys I do right now is if the word of mouth of the film itself is like ecstatic, you gotta get it. Like I didn't see Way of the Water 2 in theaters. I didn't know if I'd like it. I, I really enjoyed the first film, but because everyone's like, oh, you gotta get it. It's like really good. I decided to pick it up and it was a good blind buy. So things like that I do, but you know, buying 4Ks, just because they're brand new and shiny and everyone's posting about them, I don't really get. The uh, main reason why I got those James Cameron films, even though I haven't seen any of those films, is because I've heard they're great films and it's the hot ticket item. I also want to check it out too, so it's not like I'm just buying it because, and it was cheap, it was like $24 or 4K, so. Do I feel like a sucker for buying this? No, and maybe if, because I kind of saw a lot of people go, like, oh, I bet the people who are raging over the fact that they are finally releasing the Ultimate Knockout Collection, even though this came out, what, 22, right? 2022? 2023. 
three. So this came out, I think, early last year, right? So it feels like forever ago. They're like, oh, they're gonna release it anyways. Why would you even buy it now? Which I understand, but it's like, maybe some people don't want, because like at the end of the day, you're, you're still gonna be paying a lot of money for the MSRP. It's not like, because this is the cheaper version, obviously, because it comes with less films. Like if you can, like, would you spend the extra, what, maybe like, $35 to get that extra one if like if I didn't buy, if I didn't have this in my collection and if I did wait I would still be probably paying a lot of money for that set anyways And so even though those, those are films I don't really care for I don't see myself watching over and over again to really utilize the value of the premium product That is a 4k blu-ray Having this in my collection is definitely like enough like it, it does the thing for me if I have a again if I have an itching uh, to watch a Rocky film again I have the films that I want to see Rocky 1 Rocky 3 I can go every give or take but usually yeah so yeah I don't feel like the sucker again because I have them films and you know it's not like I'm like I've done that thing where it's like oh it's on it's on a uh, Criterion channel or, oh it's on Disney plus because what they've been doing with Disney plus is they we, we used to have was all the 20th century Fox films but something happened and now a lot of the 20th century Fox films are getting removed uh, the Poseidon adventure with Gene Hackman I really love that film I saw it on blu-ray for five dollars I was like you know what I can watch you know the newer I think a remaster it had on Disney plus or watch this old uh, Blu-ray, but now it's gone from Disney Plus. So now, like, shoot, now I kind of want to, I kind of want to give it a rewatch, but I don't own it, and it's not on any streaming service that I ass assumed it would be. Same with The Longest Day. The Longest Day used to be on Disney Plus, and it used to look great, but you know, and I saw, I saw the Blu-ray for like 15 bucks. I was like, ooh, that's a bit expensive for it. But now it's gone, and I kind of want to watch that film again. You know, for the next November, for watching a bunch of war films that's coming up in the next few months, but now I don't have it. So. Yeah, I don't feel like, uh, what's it called? I'm not getting, usually I'll sometimes get the sense of like FOMO when it comes to new releases if I've already had gotten them. Here, I don't really have that feeling. So I, I feel pretty content in my purchase originally for the Rocky original knockout collection. So that was today's video. I always wanna know, does anyone else who purchased the original Rocky knockout collection, do you feel really incentivized or really hankering to buy this new ultimate knockout collection? Or maybe you bought the Steelbooks and you'll be getting the new Steelbooks. Or if you already have this and you kind of want those other films, you can just buy the Steelbooks. I know in the US, you guys can probably find it everywhere, but here in Canada, it's really hard to come by those. So yeah, let me know down below. Are you guys gonna pick up the new collection if you have this one? Or are you guys been waiting to pick up the new one? Let me know down below. Uh, join the community. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button i am mason from the mock buster youtube channel we do things like hunting videos ranting videos top 10 best top 10 worst the whole spiel you already know but if you're into physical media and you're in well if you're mainly into 4ks and blu-rays and you know just joining me on my hunting videos and all that kind of stuff that sounds interesting to you also i'm from canada so like it's a lot the hunting experience here in canada is a lot different than in the u.s here it's more relied on mom and pop shops and the local radio uh, uh, records stores. I know you guys have the, the really big box stores that always carried things. I know like, like recently Best Buy closed, not closed down, but it closed their physical media section, but Best Buy was there, Target is there, Walmart is there. For us, we have those little uh, mom and pop shops, uh, like video game stores, and things that have the direct connection from distributors where they can get it from them, But but it's not like, for Walmart, it's really rare, you know, it's not like a nationwide thing. And I think that's the same here in the US, but we don't have that many big box stores that sells MSRP retail physical media releases. So join me in as I go through, and if you're Canadian, you know the struggle it is to, to be a lover of film and to be a supporter of physical media. It, it, it gets a bit much, especially if you're in Canada. So uh, yeah, long-winded uh, self-plug, but I'm just passionate about these things. So if you're also passionate about physical media, hit that subscribe button, stick a while, check out the back catalog uh, of videos that I have, uh, all of the 4K recommendations I've made. And yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Peace, cheers, long with physical media, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.